Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today I'm bringing you guys episode number 14 of Hut Roulette, and last episode, uh, we ended off with a two-game win streak, and we're trying to bring it up to a third and fourth game win streak this episode. So, first of all, I just want to apologize in advance. I know I haven't posted a video in almost two and a half weeks, but uh, I've just been a little bit busy with exams and a little bit busy with assignments, and uh, two and a half weeks kind of just flies right by. So, I want to get back into the swing of things. I want to upload just a few more videos uh, before exams come in on December 10th, for me at least. So, uh, we'll get some more videos coming in. But first of all, uh, I haven't played a game in a while. Uh, it's been two and a half weeks, and I know there's been some tuner sets, there's been some new cards that are out in the market, so we have a lot of chance to improve our team this episode, so I'm looking forward to it, and uh, let's go through our lineups. So first of all, on our first line, we got Blake Wheeler, Patrice Bergeron, and Rick Nash. On the second, we got Forsberg, Krejci, and Neal. Third line, we got Glenn Cross, Johnson, and Marlow. And on the fourth, we got Simmons, Boyle, and the newly acquired Silver Craig that will be playing on the fourth line left wing spot. I don't think he's going to be staying on the team for too long, but... Maybe he'll surprise us. Who knows? But on our defense lineups, we got Garrison, we got Cronwell, we got Luongo, we got Hamilton, we got Stahl, as well as Jack Johnson and Jake Garner. So our team is really coming together. We need to get another win here. Let's get right into the first game. And here we go, guys. We're facing a Detroit fan. Look at this guy's team. Stamkos, Datsuk, and Tarasenko on his lineup. So... Let's get this game going. I'm not looking forward to Division 3 gameplay, especially when I've been out for like, oh, oh, no, for like two and a half weeks. So we're going to have to get warmed up here and uh, see if we can score some goals. Oh, right on in front. Blake Wheeler, he's not going to miss that. We make it one to nothing. Nice little shovel shot by uh, Wheeler and it just beats Mrazic on his left pad, I think. All right, I'll take that goal. One to nothing. Let's keep it up. Oh, that was just a nice goal. Right through the five hole, Luongo. And who was that that scored that goal? Was that Claude Giroux? He's got a really dirty team, but uh, now we're down. Or we're tied back up one to one. You gotta have to excuse my commentating skills just a little bit. I've not commentated in a while. So, one to one. Let's get another goal back. Alright, so that is the end of the first period. Let's take a look at the stats here. 8 to 5 in shots, 3 minutes time on attack to 1 minute and 23 seconds. So, we're getting a little bit of some cycling going along, but uh, we need to get some goals right here. We're still tied 1 to 1, so we need to get that lead, get the insurance marker, and uh, let's try to win this game. Come on. Oh, what a save by his goalie. I really thought I had him beat on the cross creaser, but... Come on, let's get back stall. Don't let him buy. Don't let him buy. Yes! Another goal by Blake Wheeler. He has been absolutely lethal on the left wing. I'm telling you guys. I, I know it's been a few episodes ago, but uh, ever since I put Blake Wheeler on the left wing, he has been making no mistake scoring those one-timers. So, Tarasenko, get out of the box. Nice little cycle play, Bergeron. Nice pass, nice speed to Wheeler, and nice little cross creaser. So, 2-1 to one now. We got the lead. Oh, there's a break. Come on, go, 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 go. Backhander! Oh, why did my guy grab the puck like that? Oh, Blake Wheeler hits the post. That could have been the hat trick right there. Oh, man, that was a nice chance, but... Can't just get get that one in. Oh, Jack Johnson. That's got to be a breakaway. All right. That's a breakaway for Jack Johnson. I don't know where he got that burst of speed from, but... Oh, look at that. We're finally going back to a normal goalies here. Oh, no. I missed it. Can't do the double backhand anymore on uh, penalty shots. Thought I'll do something a little bit more fancy, but... Couldn't tuck that one in. Still 2-1. to one. Eight minutes left in the third. Alright, let's work it. Let's work it. Come on. Back to the point. Shoot. Oh, that's going in. Krejci. Yes! I called it. I knew that was going to go in once that bounce went right to Krejci. And he has been a really, really good second line center right now. Just winning face-offs. Getting in front of the net. And he gets a goal right there from Garrison and Forsberg. It's 3-1. to one, Only three minutes left in the third period. All right, and that is it. We come back with a 3-2-1 win against this Detroit fan. Now, let's take a look at the stats here, uh, but that was a pretty nice win. 
All right, so we didn't play that bad of a game. B in offense, B in defense, and a B minus overall. Uh, not too bad of a game. We will play a little bit better once we get warmed up just a little bit. But let's take a look at the shots. 24 to 17 in shots. 11 minutes. Timeout attack to 3 minutes and 43 seconds. So we're getting a lot of uh, offensive time in their zone. So I'm liking that. Let's take a look at the 3 stars as well. Blake Wheeler with the 1st star. Trying to get him the hat trick, but I couldn't do it. But he's still the 1st star. Claude Drew with 1 goal. Getting him the 2nd star. And Patrice Bergeron with 2 assists getting the 3rd star. So a lot of guys pitching in. Helping out with this game. So, anyways, let's choose that 24th player. Buy an 8750 pack. I'll meet you guys back at the home screen of NHL. Alright, here we go, guys. So, as you guys know, we can buy the 8750 pack. And I'm just going to quickly go through the banners. Just so I can show you guys what we can pull from this pack. But, there's a whole bunch of Movember cards that are out. There's some player of the game cards that are out. So, let's see if we can get lucky and add something to our Hut Roulette team. Uh, so, hopefully something special that we can add in. So, come on. Show us something good. And in this pack, we're going to get, come on, and Richard Ponick, Alexei Emelin. We got some pretty uh, solid players there. I mean, uh, 83 overall for Alexei Emelin. I might just put him onto the team. I don't exactly know yet. Of course, Richard Panic, who's right now playing in the AHL for the Toronto Maple Leafs. But uh, we will also send him to the collection. But that's not a bad pack. We'll send those guys to the collection, and we'll go ahead and buy that player now. All right, so we're ready to go. The buy now minimum has been set to 3,000. Uh, the collection time has been put onto players. So we're going to be choosing the 24th player here. So let's see what we get. And it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 is Monaghan, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, Brian Little is going to be the next pickup, an 86 overall player. I know he's a pretty good player on uh, the Winnipeg Jets, so we're going to go ahead and buy him out, see where he fits in. And welcome back to the team, guys. So we have done a little bit of rearranging of the roster because of the new players that we did add in from the pack and the pickup, and I'll show you guys what I've done. So first of all, we moved up Wayne Simmons from the fourth line right wing spot to the third line uh, because he really doesn't have chemistry with anybody else, and I thought moving up him up to the third line is definitely not a bad spot for him, as well as adding in Richard Ponick, replacing the Silver Craig, adding in Brian Little, replacing the other Brian Boyle. I think it was about time for him to go, and Brian Little has a little bit of chemistry with Patrick Marlowe, who's been moved down from the third line down to the fourth. So we're going to see if uh, this line will still perform for us in the next game of Hut Roulette. So let's get this next game going. We're not going to stop the speed of this uh, episode. Let's keep it going here. Let's see what we can do. All right, and the second game is about to begin. I think this one's going to really be the deciding factor if we're going to reach Division 2 or not, because we're only a few points away. But uh, we're going to get this game going. I'm not exactly sure who he has on his team, but it seems looking pretty good, of course. So let's get right in this. Let's see what we can do. Oh, no, that was just some bad defense. Max Pacioretty just sliding it right in. Pretty much an empty net. And he makes it one to nothing. So we got to get that one back. Not looking too good, guys. Yes, there is a goal. James Neal with the snipe. Finally showing us uh, some clutch goals right at the second period. We needed that goal pretty badly. And he makes it one to one. That was just a dirty snipe past Crawford. And uh, that was a pretty nice goal. Let's keep it up. Oh, Simmons, you got a break. Come on. Backhand, forehand. Oh, what a miss. Come on, you got to score that, Simmons. Oh, go, Bergeron. You got the speed. You got the speed. Beat him on the outside. Oh, my goodness. Did they nerf that goal or what? I can't score that goal for the life of me. Anyways, it's still 1-1. One -one. Some pretty good chances for both sides. Just cannot score a goal. All right, so that is going to be the end of the second period. I probably didn't show the first period stats because literally nothing happened. But let's take a look at the stats right now. 10 of 3 in shots. 5 minutes and 13 seconds time on attack to 5 minutes and 10 seconds. So we've only gone 2 shots since that second period. So that's pretty sad. Anyways, we've got to get some more shots on net and hopefully score another goal here. Yes! 
Oh my goodness, 5.5 seconds left and Wayne Simmons tucks it in, giving us the lead, which means hopefully we're going to get that four game win streak. Oh man, what a clutch goal. Glenn Cross making no mistake. Nice little defensive play to keep the puck in. And Wayne Simmons, oh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh man, I'm just so hyped up after that win. Look at that, 2-1. to one. That is a win that we needed. And I'm glad that we got it right at the final seconds too, not bringing it to overtime. So let's take a look at the amount of shots as well as the stats for the game. All right, so we played a pretty good game. B minus in offense, B in defense. Could have played a little bit better, made sure that we didn't uh, give up that first goal, but still, uh, we played a pretty solid game. 9 and 13 in shots, 9 minutes and 7 seconds time on attack to 6 minutes and 52 seconds. So uh, just to keep me under 20 shots, I have to give him kudos for that. It's definitely not an easy task. Uh, so good defense on his part, as well as let's take a look at the three stars. Wayne Simmons getting that first star, scoring that buzzer beater just about. Uh, James Neal getting that second star uh, with that snipe from the hash marks. And Roberto Luongo also getting that one goal against average, as well as a 9-2 save percentage in this game, giving him the third star. So that's a pretty, pretty solid three stars for this game. Anyways, let's, t let's go ahead, buy that player, raise that buy now minimum to 4K, and choose the ninth player. I'll meet you guys there. And we're going to be doing the final pickup now, so let's see what we get. The buy now minimum has been set to 4,000. Uh, the collection type has been put onto players. So let's choose the last player for this Hut Roulette episode. And we're going to be choosing the ninth player, so let's see what we get. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Brent Seabrook is going to be the next pickup on our team. An 86 overall right defenseman, two-way defenseman. That's a pretty nice pickup. Let's buy him out, see where he fits in. Alright, so welcome back to the team, guys. I'm going to be going through the team just nice and quickly for the players that we did pick up. But as you guys can see, we added in Richard Ponick and Brian Little this episode, as well as adding in uh, Brent Seabrook into the third line right defensive spot, taking out Jay Gardner. Uh, it was about time. We had him for, since the beginning of episode number one or two of Hot Roulette, and uh, he's finally replaced with Brent Seabrook, and our defense is looking a lot better. So, anyways, once again, if you guys have any line suggestions of how you want this team to look, let me know in the comment box below, and I might just choose your suggestion for my next episode of Hot Roulette so I can uh, use it for the next team. Anyways, that's about it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave it a like if you guys did enjoy it a lot, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Alright, come on, November pack, the 50k pack. Show us something special. And then this pack. Oh, I see. Oh my goodness. There it is. I see the new November card. Oh man. Yes, Bill Kessel. One of my favorite cards to use in this pack.